Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping harness racing from a track that I have not covered yet or handicapped at for a while. That's Colonial Downs in New Kent, Virginia. It is Tuesday evening, September the 15th, and this is my HarnessLink.com, DayAtTheTrack.com race of the day. I'm going to focus on race 6, 6.45 p.m. Eastern post time. This is the New Kent last chance. Pacers racing for a purse of $5,500. Contenders number five, Casey's Little Harry, number two, All American Solo, number three, Nonpartisan, and number one, My Girl Pearl. Number five, Casey's A Little Harry is the overall speed leader in this field tonight, as hit the board in four of his last five outings, winning three times, including a power run win in his last start. Driver Don Harmon was in his sulky for that last win, win six days ago here at Colonial Downs, which produced a positive 110% return on investment in the process. Harmon is back today for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number two All-American Solo drops in class by six units, comes off a power run place finish facing better company. It's last time out. Race six summary number five, Casey's Little Harry. Tops my contenders list, which also includes number two, All American Solo, number three, Nonpartisan, and number one, My Girl Pearl. Five, two, three, one, and the six tonight from Colonial Downs. A couple of bonus long shots, both from Colonial, of course. Race one, check out the five to one shot. Number one, Majorly, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Drops in class by 15 big units as both the speed and pace profile leader in this field today. And also in race three, take a look at number two, Jimmy King, a 10 to 1 bomb. Qualifies as a power pony, is the speed leader in this plate pacing field this afternoon. So handicapping from Colonial Downs in Virginia on a Tuesday, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com and harnesslink.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head not over it.